Hello there, my name's Ed, it's nice to see you. I'm doing a series now on how to prophesy and today we're going to think about what it means when we say God spoke to me. So the first thing to know about that is something about you. So let's talk about you for a minute. And the Bible says that you're fearfully and wonderfully made and that God knit you together in your mother's womb. And that's an amazing thing to think about. The intricacy of that, how you're made, and that you're unique. There's nobody else like you. But there's a lot of people would have you believe that all you are is a bag of skin, and that you're filled up with bones and various bits of offal and other things that somehow mysteriously come together and work in the most intricate um, way that you can imagine. But the Bible doesn't say that's who you are or what you're made of. Sure, there's, there's a, a material element to you, there's a physical element to you. Your skin, your bones, you, the stuff that's inside of you, all of that kind of stuff. But the Bible talks about you as body and spirit. So you're this unity of two things. Your two things combined together, if you like. You're a unity. You're two things in one. And part of you is a body and part of you is a spirit. As they're not two separate things in that sense, but you, the whole of you is body and spirit. And that's a really important thing to understand when we start to look at things like, what does it mean when we say, God spoke to me. Because the fact of the matter is that when we talk about that, we're actually probably talking about a few other things. But I'll come to that in a minute. For your part, your, we start off, all of us, our spirits are dead to God. And you'll have heard this already, especially if you're a Christian, you'll have heard the idea of being born again. That's because all that means is that the spiritual part of you is dead to God. All right. And then what happens is you become alive to God, that spiritual part of you. But it's not that that spiritual part of you is, is in some good place and your body's in some bad place because you are one being made of those two things. So it affects the whole of you. So what happens in your spirit affects your mind and your body and all of those kinds of things. So it's not that your spirit is good and that your body is bad. It's that, well, frankly, the whole of you is sinful and you come alive in God. He makes you an entirely new creation. But the body part comes later and we'll talk about that on some other occasion, I'm sure. But right now, I just want to talk about the spiritual part of you, which comes alive. And I'm going to tell you about the first time, and this is guaranteed, right? And you're going to say, how does he know this? The first time God ever spoke to you. I'm going to tell you when that was. You might not even know yourself. But before I do, let me just tell you something about what we actually mean when we say God spoke to me. Because we don't mean God spoke to me like I'm speaking to you now. We mean some other things, probably. Things like um, God made something come alive inside of me. Or God gave evidence of his being. Or God made me aware of his manifest presence. Or the Holy Spirit revealed something of God to me. And that's why it's important to know that your body and spirit, because the Holy Spirit, sure the Holy Spirit can act on the physical part of you, but in the main the Holy Spirit acts on the spiritual part of you, which then affects your mind and your emotions and all of those kinds of things. So those are kind of just four examples of what we mean and we use the shorthand phrase of God spoke to me. Now, 
I said to you that I would tell you without fail, guaranteed, the first time God ever spoke to you. And it's because it says in the Bible that it talks about you coming alive. It talks about you being born again. Now, you didn't choose to be born into this world. None of us did. We were just born in the world. It was absolutely nothing to do with you. That's true, isn't it? Similarly, spiritually, it's absolutely nothing to do with you either. And you say, well, hang on a second. I made a choice and that kind of thing. But the fact of the matter is, there's this thing called regeneration. So one second your spirit is dead to God, you're, you want nothing to do with him. And the next second, there's like a light goes on. It's like electricity, just switching a switch. And suddenly, instantaneously, and you might not be aware of it, but it's, it's an in instantaneous event. Some people have called it like you could be crossing the border in a train at night and you wouldn't know exactly when you crossed the border, but there was a point at which you crossed the border. And for other people, it's like a crisis in their life or a big thing that happens and they're really, really aware of the point at which God, if you like, put his finger in their heart and brought them back to life spiritually. So that's what happens. And the first time ever that God spoke to you was when you first became a Christian. Because you couldn't become a Christian unless God took action himself. You can't get yourself from being a not, not a Christian to being saved and in a position of having eternal life. Simply because it is God that has to do that. Now, yes, those two things are very, very closely linked. In fact, it's probably many seconds between the point of God enabling you to have faith by touching your spirit with his spirit, if you like, by touching your heart with his heart. And that point you come alive to God and you're enabled to hear from him. He speaks to you in the shorthand. He makes you aware of his manifest presence or the Holy Spirit reveals something to you. So the first time the Holy Spirit ever reveals something to you if you're a Christian, was that time when you were hearing the gospel and you became alive to God. And you said, I believe that. And your life changed from that point on. That's what we mean when we say God spoke to us. Or it's one of the things. So what I'm going to be doing in the next weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks is talking about how to prophesy. But in the next couple of goes, I'm going to be talking about those different ways that when we say what it means when we say God spoke to me, I'm going to be looking at what those actually are. Because it's one of those things that just trips off the tongue. But maybe it shouldn't. Maybe we should know a little bit more about that. Especially when we're talking to other people. Because obviously, if you talk to non-Christians about it and say, well, God spoke to me, they think you're nuts. But for Christians, it's just a normal thing. Because you've come alive in God, in your spirit, and your spirit affects your mind and the rest of you. You're a new creation in God, and that's how it works. And you're now able to hear from him in the shorthand. 